Hi, my name is Evan and welcome to EK Rugby Analysis. In this video I highlight two tactics to keep an eye on when watching the Lions run the ball this summer. The 1-3-3-1 attacking shape and roving wingers. While explaining how they work within attack coach Gregor Townsend's greater tactical framework. If we use this clip as an example, the Lions attack starts with a Japanese scrum and clearance kick to fullback Liam Williams. Williams carries the ball back inside and after a bit of shoving at the rook, the Lions fall into a 1-3-3-1 shape. So, what is the 1-3-3-1? Much like the 4-4-2 formation in football, the 1-3-3-1 is a way to spread out the 8 forwards in the pack across 4 pods, so they're not just chasing the ball around the pitch, while ideally spreading out the opposition defence too. The main advantages of the 1-3-3-1 specifically, versus other attacking shapes like the 1-3-2-2 or 2-3-2-1, is it allows the lines to 1. Protect the ball where the opposition defenders are most aggressive in midfield, within 2 pods of 3 forwards. 2. Draw the defence's focus to those 6 forwards and away from more dangerous runners elsewhere. And 3. Realign quickly to attack either side of the pitch due to the symmetrical nature of the formation. We can see these advantages in action if we run the play on, with the first and second pods of three forwards running hard to commit Japan's midfield defence initially, putting burn and more dangerous pace your lines attackers in space out wide. There is a bit of a mix up between Bigger and Henshaw initially on the next phase, but they scramble well using the inherent wit of the 1-3-3-1 to recover a decent attacking position wide left through number 8 Jack Conan. As the Lions cycle through the 1-3-3-1 for another couple of rooks, we see another aspect of the Lions attack come into action, roving wingers. So why use roving wingers? As we can partially see here, Conan and I promise he's still out there Tyburn are already filling the wild channels and pulling out the Japanese defence. With both back rows doing that job that's usually a wingers, Duhan van der Merwe and Josh Adams can move in field looking for speed mismatches against Japan's stretched, slower forwards. Adams does that first tier to good effect with the second tree pot acting as a decoy, followed by van der Merwe three phases later to again get the Lions attack moving forward. Japan are understandably finding it difficult to predict where the next runner is coming from at this stage and off a wide rook, the Lions tree pods roll up for one last push, with Courtney Laws leading the first tight tree. Having more space to play in now, the second tree pod aligned much wider off bigger, giving the Lions out half four passing options of which he picks the perfect one. There's definitely a bit of winger in burn if this type is anything to go by. If you've enjoyed this video on the Lions 1331 and Roving Wingers, I'd appreciate people taking the time to like the video, subscribe to the channel, or even comment on which Lions players you think would fit well into this system. Until the next one, thanks for watching.